The Peloton merry-go-round. It's not just riders who change teams, there's also equipment and sponsors too. So let's have a look at the 2020 bikes of the World Tour. I'm looking forward to this one. Ajay Desar Le Mondial. As in 2019, the bikes come from Belgian brand Merckx, which is now a subsidiary of Ridley. The bikes of the French team are kitted out with Shimano group sets, Mavic wheels, Vredestein tyres, Look pedals, Physique saddles, and the power meters come from Rota. A classy looking bike. Kazakhstan's squad have changed from Argon 18 bikes to those of Vilia Triestina, and I think are in one of the best colorways in the peloton this year. That blue is beautiful. Group sets and power meters are from Shimano, wheels from Corima, tires are from a small German brand called Wolfpack, the saddles are Prologo, the handlebars and stems are Vilia own brand, and the pedals are from Look. The team largely based around Peter Sagan are sticking with the same brands as they did use in 2019. So Specialized provide the bikes, saddles, tires and wheels and the brand Roval that the squad use are actually part of the Specialized brand when it comes to wheels. Group sets and pedals are Shimano Dura Ace and they will be using disc brakes just like last year. Power meters, well, this year they're coming in from Shimano. Remember last year that the team were using the 4i or Specialized branded ones. Bars and stems can be either from Pro or Specialized, depending on the model chosen. The Polish team, that is home of Greg van Avermaet, they continue to ride giant bikes with Shimano group sets, power meters and pedals. The finishing kits, such as the wheels, bars, stems and saddles, all come from the brand Kadex, which is a standalone brand but still sits under the umbrella of the giant brand itself. And finally, the tyres are Vittoria. Taking the step up into the World Tour for 2020 is the French team of Cofidis that includes sprinter extraordinaire Elia Viviani. The team moves away from the Coyota bikes and now has bikes from the Italian brand De Rosa and group sets from Campagnolo. The wheels are Fulcrum, who are actually part of the Campagnolo group. Tires from Michelin and Look provide the pedals. Saddles from Selle Italia and lastly, the bars and stems are either from FSA or Vision, depending on if the riders opt for the integrated versions or not. A slight change in name and certainly the colours, but not much else has changed. Bikes continue to come from Merida and the group sets and pedals continue from Shimano. Also, the power meters are now from Shimano, making the change away from SRM. The team have also gone fully disc brake this year too, it would seem, uh, and the tires are Continental, saddles from Pro Logo, and finally the bars, stems and seat posts are from FSA or Vision, depending on the model chosen. Belgian brand De Koenig Quickstep practically mirror the team of Bora Hansgrohe in their equipment choices. The only exception, I think, is that the Kerning Quickstep don't use SuperCAS handlebar tape. So again, we've got specialized bikes, Shimano group sets, power meters and pedals. The rest all come from specialized where possible. Again, the only little exception is pro handlebars and stems. The EF Pro Cycling Team, hailing from the USA, certainly got people talking in 2019 with their Interesting kit design. The style was carried over into the paintwork of the bikes, and the bikes remain Cannondale for 2020. Group sets are Shimano, wheels from Vision, and the bars and stems come from Vision if in the one piece variety, and FSA if a traditional bar and stem is being used. Tires from Vittoria and the saddles Pro Logo. Power meter is Power to Max, and the, finally, the pedals are Speedplay. The red, white and blue team of Group Amar FDJ are set to replicate the same material choices as in 2019. The bikes come from French brand of Lapierre. The group sets, pedals and wheels are all from Shimano, the latter being wrapped up in Continental tyres. Power meters, well they're also from Shimano. The handlebars, stems and seat posts, they all come from Pro, which is part of the Shimano brand. 
And the saddles, they're from the Italian company Prologo. A newcomer to the 2020 World Tour is the squad of Israel Startup Nation, who have signed some big name riders. Let's look at the bike though. The frame and forks come from British brand Factor. The wheels, handlebars, stems and seat posts are Black Ink, who are Factor's own brand, as are the handlebars and stems. Group sets are Shimano with the ceramic speed oversized pulley wheel system mixing it up on the rear derailleur. Tires are again a newcomer to the World Tour and they're from the brand Maxis. Saddles are Selly Italia and the parameters are 4i. Pedals, largely a rider choice, but most of them have opted for look. Lastly, things are blinged up just a little bit more with a KMC gold chain. The Belgian squad of Lotto Sedal stick with the same tried and tested and trusted components of 2019. We've got Ridley frames and forks, Campagnolo wheels and group sets, Vittoria tyres and Selly Italia saddles. Deda, they provide the bars, stems and seat posts and Look remain the pedal sponsor. Parameters, yep, they remain with SRM. The Australian team of Mitchelton and Scott are pretty much like Lotto Sedal and sticking with the same setup as the previous year. So Scott continued to provide the bikes, Shimano the wheels, group sets and pedals. Finishing kits such as the bars, stems, seat posts and saddles all come from Syncross. Parameters, they are Shimano. The tyres, they're provided by Pirelli, more commonly known within the automotive industry, but certainly making inroads in cycling again after being a popular choice a few decades back. The former world road race champion Alejandro Valverde and his colleagues at Movistar remain on Canyon bikes, but the big change comes in the news that the squad will be using SRAM group sets gone a Campagnolo after a 37 year partnership. Zip wheels replaced the Campagnolo ones too and Physique continued to supply the saddles and look the pedals. Quark are the new power meter provider and the tyres, yep, they are still continental. NTT Pro Cycling, the new name of Dimension Data. They will be staying on the same equipment for the season, sticking with the bikes of BMC, Shimano group sets and pedals, plus rotor cranks and power meters. The wheels, bars and stems all come from Envy, and those wheels, they're decked out with tires from Italian brand Vittoria. The squad will be sat on Selly Italia saddles. Oh, and the chains, KMC. The gold one, of course. The team that was previously known as Team Sky. Team Ineos launched last May and is sticking again with the same equipment choices that they've used for a number of years, pretty successfully now. Uh, the bikes are Pinarello and the group sets, wheels, pedals, power meters, all come from the giant of the cycling industry, Shimano. Riders will be using saddles from Physique and the wheels, where well, they're wrapped up in tires from Continental. Team Jumbo Visma, a team that didn't seem to win a great deal for a number of seasons really, and then showed real strength in 2019. And for 2020, they've bolstered the squad. But what about the tech? Well, there looks to be just one change in equipment from 2019. Let's see if you can guess it. Frames and forks are Bianchi. Group sets, pedals and wheels are Shimano. And those wheels, they've got Vittoria tires fitted on them. The riders, they're gonna be sat on physique saddles. Handlebars and stems, they come from Italian brand FSA. And finally, the power meters are Shimano. What was the change? The power meter, gone a pioneer. Another Dutch squad now, Team Sunweb. Their Grand Tour and TT specialist Tom Dumoulin may have left them for Jumbo Visma this year, but they've still got some pretty bling bits of kit being used. So let's take a look. Frame and forks come from Cervelo and the wheels, pedals, group sets and power meters all come from Shimano. Pro, they provide the bars and stems where they are a two-piece version and the saddles, they are also pro. Finally, the tires, they're from Continental. For this team, of course, Trek bikes are being used and they will use SRAM group sets again in 2020. Bontrager provide the wheels, saddles, bars and stems, but a change from last year is the tyres. Pirelli have joined the squad. Quark provide the power meters. And one of the most interesting things actually here 
is that the team are using Shimano SPDSL pedals. UAE Team Emirates, one of the most traditional squads out there. The team of UAE Team Emirates continue to use the frames of Colnago combined with the group sets of Campagnolo. But the rib brake versions, maybe that will change though. Who knows, keep your eyes peeled. The wheels, they are also from Campagnolo. Parameters are stages, saddles, pro logo. Pedals are from French brand look. And finally, the tires are from Vittoria. At this point, we are going to talk through six of the eight women's world tour bikes that we were able to film at the Santos Women's Tour Down Under. Sadly, there were two teams missing because they weren't obliged to actually race, but we hope to see them at some point this year to check out their bikes. The Italian Slovenian squad stick with their brightly coloured kit for the year, but we're here to talk bike tech. That team, it was formerly known as Ale Cipollini. They remain with bikes from the Italian brand Cipollini, of course owned by Mario Cipollini, the Lion King himself. Group sets on the bikes are from Campagnolo. I'm pretty sure that Mario Cipollini wouldn't have it any other way. The wheels, they're also Campagnolo and fitted with Vittoria tires. Finishing kit, again, is a full Italian affair with Prologo saddles and bar tape and the handlebars from Deda Elementi. And last, but by no means least, the pedals are from Look. The team that unofficially has the coolest kit design in the peloton and also the incredibly multi-talented Pauline Ferran Prevo is that of Canyon SRAM Racing. Their equipment choices for the season remain the same as last year, so they're sticking with the bikes of Canyon and the group sets of SRAM, just as their team name would suggest. Handlebars and stems, they're provided by Canyon and Ergon provide the saddles. Quark relay the power numbers to the riders through their power meters and Zip provide the wheels. And the tires, they're from the German brand Schwalbe. And the pedals, they're from the American brand Speedplay. Of FDJ Nouvelle Aquitaine Futuroscope will ride the French brand of Lapierre. These are kitted out with Shimano wheels and group sets. Shimano also provide the pedals and power meters. Tires are from Continental and the handlebars, stems and seat posts are courtesy of Pro, which is part of Shimano. And the saddles, they come from the Italian brand Prologo. This team has a number of riders who can split a race to pieces. And of course, home to the world road race champion, Annemiek van Vleuten. Here at the Santos Tour Down Under, the riders are using their old race bikes, but in Europe, they will be kitted out slightly differently. That difference, I will tell you shortly. Now, Scott are going to be continuing to provide the bikes and Shimano the wheels, group sets and pedals. Finishing kit, such as bars, stems, seat posts and saddles, they all come from Syncross. The tires are Pirelli. I've been reliably informed they'll also be using disc brakes. The squad of Team Sunweb are using identical kit to that of the men's team. So let's have a little run through it. Frame and forks come from Cervelo and the wheels, pedals, group sets and power meters all from Shimano. Pro provide the bars and stems where they're the two piece versions. Otherwise, it's Cervelo's specific integrated bar and stem. The saddles, they also come from Pro. Finally, the tires that wrap up those Shimano wheels come from German brand Continental. Trek Segafredo, who I think have the best looking clothing and bike combination in the whole of cycling. Naturally, they use Trek bikes and they're fitted with SRAM's ETAP Axis group sets. Bontrager, who are part of the Trek brand, they provide a whole heap of components. The wheels, the saddles, the bars, the stems. The tires though, they're a newcomer to Trek Segafredo this year and they are from Pirelli. There we are, the 2020 Bikes of the World Tour. Let me know in the comment section below which is your favourite and importantly, why. But before you head away, also remember to like and share this video with your friends too. And check out the GCN shop at shop.globalcyclingnetwork.com. And remember, you can now download the GCN app. So head on over to the App Store or the Play Store to get that. And now for two more great videos, click just down here and just down here. And I'm going to go and check out even more bike stuff. See you later.